Welcome to the module on flexible payments. Today we will be discussing about the filter material or filter media, the requirement of the filter material, the grading requirement and the material requirement in detail using an Excel sheet. So to start with like uh, what is the definition of a filter material? The material for the filter shall consist of a coarse sand, gravel or a stone one or more layers of graded materials to act as a filter medium shall be provided underneath the pitching to prevent loss of embankment materials and built up of uplift head on the pitching. If you see the grading of a filter material, the grading requirement is basically divided into three classes, class one, class two and class three. Class 1 starts with the maximum size of aggregate uh, 53 millimeters. Class 2 having a maximum size of aggregate 26.5 millimeters. And class 1 is having a maximum size of aggregate 11.2 uh, millimeters. That means as you move from class 1 to class 3, the grading becomes coarser and coarser. So if you have a base material finer, you can have a coarser material on top of it. So grading selection for a filter material shall be provided on the following lines. Where the soil met with the trenches is a fine grain type. The backfill material shall conform to class 1 grading set out in table 300.3 which is being shown in the previous slide. Where the soil met with in the trench is of a coarse silt to medium sand or sandy type. The backfill material shall be corresponding to class 2 grading, which is in between class 1 and class 3. That means neither too coarse nor too fine. And where the soil met with in the trench is gravelly sand, the backfill material shall correspond to class 3 type of grading, which is a completely open graded and coarser material. The conditions for filter materials, if you see, filter design may not be required if embankment consists of a CH or a CL type of soils with liquid limit greater than 30 and a resistance to surface erosion. In this case, if a layer of material is used as the bedding for pitching, it shall be well graded and its D85 size shall be at least twice the maximum size, maximum void size in pitching. The specification of uh, filter materials, if you see apart from uh, the grading requirements, you need to see that uh, the grading of base material and uh, the filter material should fulfill the following proportions or the following conditions. The first one is uh, the ratio of D15 by D85, that is D15 of filter material uh, divided by D85 of base material should be within uh, 5, 0 to 5 or less than 5. Second condition is uh, D15 of filter material uh, divided by D15 of base material should be between 4 to 20. And D50 of filter material divided by D50 of base material should be less than 25. Now, when we say D15, D85 or D50, D50, there D15 means the size of that sieve which allows 15% by weight of the filter material to pass through it. Similarly, when we say D50, it shows the size of that sieve which allows 50% of the weight of the filter material to pass through it. And when we say D85, it is the size of that sieve which allows 85% of the weight, 85% by weight of the filter material to pass through it. So this is how D15, D85 and D50 are being categorized and the ratios were determined after doing the grading of the base material and the filter material and the ratios are being checked for their respective values. As a rule of thumb for filter materials, the final filter shall be considered as a base material for selection of coarser filters. The filter shall be compacted to a firm conditions. The thickness of the filter is generally of the order of 200 millimeters to 300 millimeters. Where filter is provided in two layers, thickness of each layer shall be 150 millimeters. We will be discussing the mixed design of uh, filter media 
using uh, crushed aggregates now for this what we is being done is we will be using the excel sheet uh, to explain how the mix design is being uh, done the code which is being used or the data which is being used is uh, of uh, more section 2500 referring to clause 2504.2.2.2 now the requirements given for uh, filter media is uh, you have to fulfill the requirements like d15 for filter media divided by d85 of base material should be less than 5 uh, d15 of filter material by d15 of base material should be between 4 and 20 and d50 of filter material divided by the d50 of base material should be less than 25 this is the requirement uh, to be fulfilled for the material to be used as a filter material that means uh, a lot depends upon the base material gradation so depending upon the base material gradation the filter material gradation needs to be selected which will give you an impact on the ratio like d15 by d85 uh, or d15 by d15 of filter material and base material or d50 of filter material by d50 of base material now how to do that uh, to start with uh, like uh, in this particular module we are going to use the crushed aggregate so the aggregates which we are proposing to use is 40 20 10 and stone dust now what is being done is uh, we have checked the individual grading of uh, all the aggregates uh, like 40 20 10 and stone dust using a set of sieves starting from 75 mm and ending at 75 micron i s sieve with a given percentage passing like if you see the sheet of uh, 40 mm uh, sieve analysis for individual gradings from 75 mm uh, sieve 100% is passing from 53 mm sieve 100% is passing from 26.5 43.19 percent is passing from 9.5 mm sieve 0.67 percent uh, material is passing. Similarly, for 4.75, it is zero, and down all uh, percentage passing is zero. So this is the same condition in all the four samples. Now, what is being done is to show, make sure the consistency of the mix. Number of samples are being tested of 40 mm aggregate to check the average value of percentage passing. Similarly, for the similar set of uh, sieves. for the similar set of sieves that is 75 uh, 26 uh, 53 26.5 9.5 4.75 and then uh, 75 micron sieve again the 20 mm material is uh, sieved to get the individual aggregate passing then the 10 mm material is being sieved to get the individual aggregate passing from the same set of sieves and then finally the stone dust which is being graded from the using the same set of sieves to determine the percentage passing from the each sieves now after getting the individual gradation of 40 20 10 and dust the average values are being taken for 40 mm for 20 mm and then 10 mm aggregate and the dust aggregate that means to determine the average value from the samples of 3 uh, what is being done is uh, average of 3 uh, samples is 100 now average of uh, samples uh, average of three samples from uh, 26.5 mm sieve is works out to be 38.56 that means the average percentage passing we are going to use for the combination or the blending to make a filter material that means uh, the average percentage passing of 20 mm aggregate average percentage passing of 10 mm aggregate average percentage passing of stone dust and average percentage passing of your uh, 40 mm aggregate all are taken into the theoretical uh, combination or uh, blending of uh, filter media Th the set of sieves uh, remains the same and on the left hand uh, column that is percentage passing which is being marked in yellow the individual aggregate percentage passing from the set of sieves is being noted and the right hand side which is again say being shown by the different colors you can find out the percentage combination percentage combination so that you will come across uh, uh, a total percentage passing by adding say around 25% of 40 mm 25% of 20 mm 10% 15% of 10 mm and 35% of stone dust 
now what is being done is after doing uh, the blending the theoretical blending of uh, the filter material which is a combination of 40 20 10 and dust the individual grading of uh, the individual grading of uh, base material is also checked now to determine the base material grading again the number of samples are taken like 1 2 3 in this case 3 samples you have taken and the same set of sieves which are being used for uh, the filter material is being utilized to check the percentage passing of the base material and then from the 3 samples we have calculated the average percentage passing of uh, base material from a set of sieves starting from 75, 53, 26.5, 9.5, 4.75, 2.36, 0.425 and 0.075 so the idea of uh, making base material sieved through the same set of sieves is filter materials are being designed based on the base material properties that means uh, the final comparison is to be done with respect to the base material that means the same set of sieves you have crushed aggregate being used as a filter material is uh, being noted on the left hand side column and then base material being passed from 75, 75 mmc 53 mmc or 26.5 mmc is being noted on the right hand side so you know the for a set of sieves to be used as a filter material starting from 75 mm 53 millimeters 26.5 millimeters 9.5 millimeters and up to 0 0.075 millimeters or 75 micron sieves you have the percentage passing of the filter material as well as you know the percentage passing of the base material now the requirement is if you see the abstract part requirement is d15 of filter material divided by d85 of base material should be less than 5 d15 of filter material divided by d15 of base material should be between 4 and 20 and d50 of filter material should divided by d50 of base material should be less than 25 so the idea is you need to calculate the D50 and D15 of the filter material and then you need to calculate D85, D50 and D15 of base material. Now what is this D15, D85 and D50 is? When we say D15 that means 15% of the material is passing through that particular sieve. When we say D50 that means 50% of the material is passing through that particular sieve. When we say D85, that means 85% of the material is passing through that particular sieve. Now, what is being done is 95% uh, 95.66 percentage is passing through 4.75, and 76.59 percentage is passing through 2.36. That means when we uh, when we have to calculate D85, D85 will lie somewhere between 4.75 and 2.36, and that is the value which you have to interpolate through graph. Similarly, when we say D50 of uh, filter material, 49.06% is passing from 9.5 and 84.64% is passing from 26.5 mm. That means when we are calculating D50, the D50 sieve should lie between 26.5 and 9.5. That means D50 value needs to be interpolated using the graph uh, to get the value of the sieve from which your D50 is passing. Similarly, D15 when we say 15% of the material should pass through that particular sieve and from the graph, uh, from the table it is clear that 14.23% is passing through 425 micron IS sieve and 27%, 27.24% is passing through 2.36 uh, mm IS sieve. That means when we are saying D15, it should lie between 2.36 mm sieve or 425 micron sieve. So that is how the D15 filter material, D85 base material, D15 of filter material, D15 of base material and D50 of filter material and D50 of base materials are being calculated using either the graph or the interpolation techniques. Now once you know the values of uh, D15 of filter material and D85 of a base material which is uh, nothing but the ratio of 0.5 by 3.414 which works out to be 0.125 and 0.125 is less than 5. So this first criteria is meeting 
the filter material which is being selected is meeting our first criteria that is the ratio of d15 by d85 is less than 5 similarly when we have to calculate d15 of filter material divided by the d15 of base material it is the ratio of 0.5 divided by 0.08 that means uh, 6.25 which is uh, between 4 and 20 so our filter material is meeting the second requirement also that is the ratio of d15 of filter material divided by the d15 of base material and then let us check the third criteria that is d50 of filter material and uh, divided by d50 of base material should be less than 25 now from the graph and from the interpolation we have calculated that d50 of filter material is 10 and uh, d50 of base material is 0.7 if you see the comparison we are talking about d50 of filter material which is 10 so d50 d50 is uh, something uh, 49.06% is passing through 9.5 mm sieve and 84.64 is passing through 26.5 mm sieve that means d50 should lie between 9.5 and 26.5 and what we have calculated is 10 is exactly meeting the values so d50 of filter material divided by d50 of base material is the ratio of 10 divided by 0.7 which works out to be 14.29 since 14.29 is less than 25 so our filter material which is a combination of uh, filter material which is a combination of 40 20 10 and stone dust in the proportion of uh, 25% of 40 mm 25% of uh, 20 mm 15% of 10 mm and 35% of stone dust is meeting all the three criteria uh, set in MORTH that is d50 ratio of d15 filter material by d85 should be less than 5 ratio of d15 filter material by d15 base material should be between 4 and 20 and the ratio of d50 of filter material and d50 of base material should be within 25 so that is why it, it is meeting all the requirements given in the morth uh, classifications hence the said combination uh, works uh, and the said combination it should be used as a filter material provided the base material is meeting the requirement so if your base material is changing if the gradation of the base material is changing then the ratios which are set here like d15 by d85 or d15 by d15 of base material or d50 by d50 of filter material and base material will also change so whenever there is a change in the base material the filter material needs to be re checked for uh, these three criteria and if they meet then it will be used as it is or uh, or otherwise we need to change the combination of the aggregates so this is how uh, we can do the design mix of uh, filter medium or filter material using the crushed aggregates to summarize uh, this module we talked about uh, the definition of filter material the grading requirements of the filter material and the selection of the grading based on the soil conditions then we also talked about the requirement of uh, filter material specifications that is uh, the ratio of uh, d15 d85 and uh, d50 of uh, base and filter materials selection of uh, the grading uh, based on uh, the soil conditions is already discussed and uh, then we tried to explain uh, the design of uh, filter material using the excel sheet like how the basic design is being done by doing the grading of uh, the base material first and then the filter material and how the proportion of the filter material is dependent on the base materials grading because the base material you cannot change it's already there so if the base material is already laid and you have to put a filter material on top of it and a lot depends upon the base material grading because ultimately you have to satisfy the ratio of the filter material to the base material to the requirements given in MORTS specifications so thank you thank you very much for watching